G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through 50 cent pieces again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we've got my collection book for 50 cents, already partly filled with the commemorative coins that we've found so far. We're only really looking for two, the Centenary of Federation from 2001 for Tasmania, and the 1991 25th anniversary of decimal currency, the Ram's Head. Got everything else up to the Indigenous Year of Indigenous Languages and a couple of other extra coins that we found along the way. So let's put that aside and get into the coins today. There's a mix of uh, coins, uh, unfortunately, today. I did have a bit of a problem with the Westpac ATM. It uh, didn't spit out exactly what I wanted, so I've got a couple of extra rolls of uh, 10 cent pieces and uh, some 5 cent pieces uh, because it just wouldn't give me what I wanted. So I had to go to um, Armaguard and get some coins from there as well. So we've got a couple of different sets of coins. So let's see if we can get into the 50 cent pieces. Here is the coat of arms that is the standard 50 cent piece and that one is from 2014 so we look at that for a crop circle error but we don't have one of those and there for the f whoops and there we have our first common commemorative which is the 2005 remembrance coin the 60th anniversary of the end of world war ii So what we're looking for is commemoratives, low mintage coins, coins worth more than face value. Uh, but there are a lot, of, a lot of common commemoratives amongst the Australian 50 cent pieces. Here is the Commonwealth Games Brisbane from 1982. So we lay a row at the top, calling them the common commemoratives, and we go through all the coins looking for coins of low mintage. And not intended for circulation. Here's a 2001 coin, so it'll be something. This is the 1912 Commonwealth coat of arms. This is a highly minted of the 2001 set. The other coins that were issued in 2001 were the Centenary Federation, and that's states and territories of Australia, and they're lower minted coins, and we keep those and make sense because they are slightly worth more than face value at the moment and you'll see that if we find any and we'll get the red poppy fund numbers up to show how much i think they were worth and how much they can sell for for the red poppy fund another commonwealth games and another commonwealth games Another 2001 Centenary Federation. A bit dirty, some of these. There's a 2010, and we look for the 2010 for the rotation error. That seems to be fine, so we'll move on. Here we have another uh, commemorative. This is from 2005. This is the secondary school competition winner for a 50 cent piece. It was made for the Melbourne 2006 Commonwealth Games. another 2010 that's okay and so now we're on to the third roll and after we finish the third roll we might speed things up a little bit although I would like to get out some more comm common commemoratives onto the uh, table because what will happen when we speed things up is that we'll only stop for new coins for the day and usually uh, when we have a lot of commemoratives out on the table then we don't stop as often. And there's a 2010 Celebrate What's Great, Celebrating Australia Day, 2010. And straight after that we have the Sawiri Dunlop coin, the 50th anniversary of the end of World War II from 1995. And we have a 1998, which is Bass and Flinders. Centenary of Federation. And then from 1977 we have a Silver Jubilee coin celebrating Queen Elizabeth's 
Silver Jubilee. And that's in not in bad nick, so I might put that aside later. And another Centenary Federation. And then we're off the third roll. So what we'll do now is we'll speed things up a little, a little bit. We will probably have uh, a bit of stoppage here and there as we get new coins. But it should run relatively smoothly. So we'll go now. And there, for the first time today, we have a 2002 Year of the Outback coin. Ah, and there we go. Look at that. We have a Centenary of Federation and we have the Tasmania with the two, what looks like Tasmanian Tigers leaning up against the shield with a lion rampant on the top. And that is what we need for the book. So that means we only need the uh, Ram's Head now. Oh, that, and that goes down the bottom. We'll make a row for Keepers at the bottom. And that's a fantastic coin. I haven't seen one of those for ages. There for the first time today we have a 1994 International Year of the Family. And that might look like it has a wide date on it, but that's a very, very grubby coin, so we'll put that one back into circulation. Well, there's another one, that's a lot better. And it's got a standard date. Actually, it might be a wide date. We'll see how that goes. And there, for the first time today, we have a Millennium Year coin. And we look on that coin for an incused flag variety, but this one is a standard variety. And there, for the first time today, we have the 2003 Australia's Volunteers. Oh, and look at that. We have a ram's head. 1991. I just saw the date as I flipped it over. So that looks like we have a completed book. Wow. <laughs> that's fantastic. Another book completed. Well, that's a lot quicker than I thought it would happen, which is a, an actual uh, bit of a shame because I don't actually have any uh, new books to go on with. So I'm going to have to do something about that. 
very quickly. Uh, but we'll keep, the, we'll keep the hunt going. Let's see if we can find anything else of any note uh, of more than face value for the Red Poppy Fund. We'll see how, how it goes. Uh, here for the first time today, we have the 2004 primary school competition winner for a 50 cent piece. And so that brings us on to the last roll, an armor guard roll. No, sorry, a prosiga roll. And so a decent hunt today, although there's only two real keepers at this stage, a decent hunt because they are both destined for the book. And they will close the book off. So if we don't get anything, and no, it doesn't look like we do, there we have coat of arms all the way to the end. And so, two very nice uh, keepers that are uh, destined for the book, but I'll quickly go through the coat of arms to the side, and I'll be back if I find anything else of any note. Well, I'm back, and the only uh, coin of note out of the coat of arms was this 2016 50th anniversary of the end of decimal currency, the changeover coin. Didn't see that in the hunt because I was just flipping through the reverses so uh, that will go with the common commemoratives but that was it for the hunt so what we did find though was the centenary of federation from tasmania from 2001 it is a coin that i need for the book and it is a well welcome coin and the other coin of note is the ram's head the 1991 25th anniversary of decimal currency so Put it side by side with the 50th anniversary you've got the larger ram's head and then you've got the small ram's head on the uh 50th anniversary change of a coin and that is because the preceding pre-decimal equivalent was the shilling with the ram's head on it so 1991 again for the book so i'll move that to the side there and we'll grab the book in so that we can finish it off I'm trying not to knock down too much of these uh, massive uh, coin towers that we've got. So let's put that there, bring the coin book in on the first page. The coin that we need to re replace the placeholder with is the ram's head coin. 
And we'll grab the ram's head coin, we'll jam, jam it in. So that's one that we've replaced. And then we take out the placeholder for Tasmania. If I can grab it. And we grab the Tasmanian Centenary Federation and we put her in. So that means that the book is complete. Apart from this around 50 cent piece that I've always got at the front, which uh, probably uh, I'm not waiting for that in circulation because that it's a rarity. It's a rarity to happen. So what we have is on the first page from 1970, the Captain Cook, all the way through to the start of the Centenary Federation series. And then on the second page, the Centenary Federation series continues and goes all the way to the 2016 changeover coin, which we also found today. And then on the third page, the last two circulating commemorative coins, the 2017 Marbo coin and the 2019 International Year of Indigenous Languages. So we have completed the commemorative 50 cent piece hunt. And we have completed another book. Another book that bites the dust. So excellent news. It's great work. Unfortunately, I don't know what I'm going to do next week uh, because I don't have a new book. <laughs> I don't have a new book to start a new hunt on. Uh, so if I haven't been able to source a new book, there won't be a hunt next week. But if I have been able to source a new book, we will have a hunt. But we'll see how it goes. So I thank you very much for watching. If you like what I do, please think about subscribing. Give me the thumbs up. Leave a comment about what you're finding noodling in your area. If indeed you do noodle. But you can also tell me if you're finding coins like this in your change as well. So love to hear that and where you're from. What part of Australia? Definitely be back in a few days for more noodling because I've got $1 coins ready to go. So I'll see you then. Bye.